My, this is my science experiment. It's about bending metals with heat and to see how much weight it takes to bend them more than an inch. I'm going to be using four metals. Copper, brass, just the yellow one, aluminum, and tin. My first metal is going to be aluminum, then I'm going to go tin, then I'm going to go copper, and then brass. I'm going to measure if it's more than an inch by putting one on top after I heat it, doing that. And how I'm going to bend it is I'm going to have two weights on it, and I might add more weight if it doesn't bend more than an inch on the first try. I'm going to see how much weight it takes to bend them on it. This is going to be the heating, so we're going to start with the aluminum. I'm not allowed to use the bulk torch, so. It's going to be timed for 20 seconds. Five seconds one side, and back. One, two, three, four, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now it's time to bend the metals. Oh wow, that's one weight. Now I gotta measure. Oh god, I can feel the hotness right now. That's it's really hot. Okay, it is an inch and a half exact. No joke. With two one ounce weights, so two ounces. Okay, it's our first metal, and how are we gonna get it off? I never thought about that. So now we're gonna get it off somehow with um I'm gonna step back. So now I'm gonna do my tin. Just place that there. It has to be completely even. One, two, three, four, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, now we're gonna bend it. Hopefully tin bends very fast. That'd be great. That's definitely not an inch, just by view. It's not an inch. Oh, thank you. Now I've got to put the sword on. Oh, that's probably more than an inch. Let me check. It's a little less than an inch. Just a little less. So we have to go into an inch and see how much it takes to go to an inch. Oh, it's definitely an inch. Just gotta make sure though. Yep, it is. Yeah, it's more than an inch. Okay, so this is a regular tin. This is the tin I just burnt. I don't know if you can see the difference. I'll probably have it in my display, but that is crazy different. Also, I can tell that when I put them lined up, the regular tin is a little taller. It like shriveled up and it's like burnt and it made up from nice clean metal to like burn it. it's awesome. So my next metal is gonna be the copper, which very interested in seeing what the copper does. Copper. Three, four, five, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well that is a scary blow torch. Now let's test the copper. Inch exactly on point. Look at the copper. Oh. oh, it's just burnt, and from, it went from gold, it went from gold to tin color, and then on the outsides, it's orange. On this side, it's horrible, it looks like rust. So now I have brass. I think it's going to turn out awesome looking when I burn it, because it, it's like gold right now. The copper was like bronze gold. This is like gold looking and it looks awesome, so burn this thing. Do it in the air first. Ready, go. 18, 19, 20. Oh wow, that's, that's really hard. It's probably the hardest of the metals. I doubt that's an inch. It's probably half an inch. But it's very interesting to find out what it is. Yeah, only a half an inch on that one. That's... It's crazy. This one's going to take probably just as much as, what was it, the tin? It looks like an inch, but it is not an inch. Oh, that's going to be an inch. Oh, it's pinching my finger. 
still less than an inch. That's horrible. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, a little bit less than an inch. Oh my, wow. Oh, we finally got a little more than an inch. Five on each side, that's 10 ounces. It's 10 ounces for the brass to bend. And remember, all my metals are a sixteenth of an inch, so it's not the thickest metal, and it bent, and that's crazy that it took ten ounces just to bend sixteenth of an inch. Brass is strong. That's my conclusion of the video, not my conclusion of the project. Okay, this is my science experiment, and it's not like the first one. The first one was the same thing, but with heating metals, and I had to heat up the metals with a blowtorch. This one is where I'm not heating it up. This is my aluminum. It's what I'm doing first. And I'm doing it for a comparison. So my aluminum, it's the aluminum. I gotta flip this over. Okay, so I'm starting with two ounces, one ounce on each side. Okay, that's about a half an inch. So we're not there yet. I'm gonna add on two more. That's a little bit more than half an inch. That barely did anything. It's really surprising. Or maybe it's not. Okay, that's uh, six ounces total. Three ounces each side. Not an inch yet. Very close. Okay, four, four, eight ounces total. And that is a little bit more than an inch. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my tin. Tin does cool things. You should have seen the burnt one. So, two ounces. Nope, not an inch yet. I don't even think it's half an inch. Okay. Okay, that's uh, four ounces. Nope, not quite an inch. It's a little bit over half. Let's try. Six ounces total. Three on each side. It is actually not quite an inch, so we have to add more. Let's add two more ounces, so eight ounces. If this is an inch, it's just like the aluminum, eight ounces each. Oh, it's just about under an inch. This is strong metal. Okay, it's the tiniest bit under an inch, so ten. This has got to bend more than an inch. Oh, it's exactly an inch. That is good enough, under 10 ounces. That's really good. Now, I'm going to do copper. Okay, let's get this on. The metal. Metal's fine, of course it's metal. That hasn't bent. Uh, let me see a difference from when it's regular. It's a little pointed up. It's pretty straight. Oh wow, that is not a much different. That's not much of a difference. That's crazy. This is gonna probably use all, the, all of our things. That is definitely not an inch. Sometimes you can just tell without looking. Not an inch yet, half an inch, wow. Just half an inch and it's already six ounces. That looks like it had a pretty big drop. Not big of a Still not an inch. This is eight. This might be the hardest metal. That is eight ounces. And it's a little under an inch. I might use all my weight. This is 12. 12 ounces and this might still not be an inch. Exactly an inch. Finally. Okay, this is my brass. The brass is, in my opinion, and in my hypothesis, gonna be the hardest. Oh, it didn't even move. I, I wanna see how much it didn't move. Maybe a quarter of an inch it moved. Add on f two more weights. That is four ounces. Definitely not a inch. Okay, this is six ounces total. Just because this one's hanging down doesn't make it different. It's about half an inch. This is eight ounces, it's half a pound. Not an inch. Now we have 10 ounces. 
not an inch. Oh, let's keep going. Okay, this is 12. This is the same as the copper bent an inch. If this doesn't bend, it's like the strongest metal. It's still less than an inch. That is 14 ounces. Wait, yeah. Yes, 14 ounces. 14 ounces and exactly an inch. Thank you for watching, and I'm going to get all this data um, that I collected this from this experiment onto my poster board and my project. And I also have a lot of good surprises on my poster board that um, you would like. So, I'll see you at the science fair.